Three, two, one. Bam! Here it is, baby. Big A in the house. What's good? Hello. Hello, Simply Clouded. Hello. Uh, Yeti. Good games earlier. Using linear algebra, I've deducted that in 136 days, you will be completely bald. I'll take that bet, motherfucker. <laughs> I'll take that bet. 100, day 135, I buy a wig. Fucking lock it in. Um, it's not a bet, it's a threat. <laughs> Sneak in and shave me. I just began playing Hitman 3. This game is so damn awesome. It's your first time chat. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Get the feeling you watched Hitman Horse and you came in here. Uh, I gotta be honest with you, bro. I I love you. I welcome you here. There's a lot to learn. You got a lot to learn. These chats gonna want you to catch up. There's more to it, you know. Uh, not about the game, about the fucking random ass jokes. Okay. Um, love your Hitman vids on IT. Thank you. I, I think the last one was really good. I think. Uh, I mean, it actually started a bit of a rise on all the videos. Just a little baby one, but like, I don't know. People watched the last Hitman Horse and they started watching all the other ones. It was kind of cool. Uh, hello! I'm 27 years old and I've never had a job. Please help. Chat, somebody hire this man. All of my chat are esteemed, established business leaders in their field, in their craft. They run factories, okay? They run businesses, and I'm sure one of you can open up your doors to Minimal Encourager, a man who is 27, prime of his life, and ready to get cracking on some hard labor. Uh... Yo, that's a sick shirt? Yeah, it's a Spicy Core's merch. It's nice. Hello, how are you doing? Um... Uh... I've got a great opportunity selling life insurance for him. Just join my downline. Oh, you're trying to you're trying to MLM him. Nice, nice. We should start that. I would love to get like an Atriot community pyramid scheme uh, type beat that I could be at the top of, and then collecting all the downlines. I think that would be cool. Um, we could sell door to door. I don't know something. You know, you really you don't want to use the product. So coffee. Um. <laughs> uh, Um, okay, here's a great question. I'm glad, I want to start off with some good questions right off the bat, you know, get into the mood. Atrock, imagine yourself being locked in a room with three clones of yourself. One is wearing a hundred shirts, one is wearing a hundred pairs of pants, and one is wearing a hundred pairs of underwear. One will defend you, the others will try to kill you. Which do you choose? So no matter what, it's two on two. Because it's me and a clone of myself. It's two on two. So what I should pick is the thing that is least restrictive. So I guess I would pick the shirts. <laughs> Hunter Pants guy is frozen in place. Hunter Pairs of Underwear's guy is probably blood circulation cut off dying. So I pick the shirts guy. It's me and shirts against the world. He doesn't need to punch because the shirts guy is almost like it. It's almost like the classic DPS tank meta. Do you understand? You've got the damage dealer in the back and you've got the tank in the front. Shirts guy is in the front, he's tanking, and then I can I can go around him and just start throwing shots. Uh, but his balls are exposed. <laughs> yeah, but we don't understand. His weakness is his balls, but his enemies can't kick. Do you understand? His one weakness is his balls, but the enemies, they see this, but they can't kick. It's the great, it's the fucking. It's the ultimate meta. So he's he's actually perfectly safe. I think I've I've nailed this. I think I've actually solved this problem. Um, Ishrak, what archetype would you consider yourself? DPS, support, or tank? I don't think that human beings fall into these archetypes in when that we are not in a combat <laughs> role in our life, but probably DPS. Probably DPS. That's how I've always thought of myself. If I had to, if I had to nail it. But I don't think that that really applies. I think sometimes you gotta tank things in life. Sometimes you gotta be aggressive, and sometimes you gotta support. So no, really, you gotta be a multi-class all three. Um, Atrioc, I'm traveling to Phoenix for work this weekend. Any suggestions on what to do? Yeah, uh, melt 
in the hot, hot sun. Just melt. Just stand under the sun and look around at Phoenix, God's folly, I call it, and slowly but surely melt into the ground. Um, I don't know. Uh, there's a lot to do. I, I guess... <laughs> it really depends more on you. It's not like it's a mythical city with crazy things that don't exist elsewhere. There's going to be bars. There's going to be... I don't know. Go do Top Golf or something, bro. Uh, good place to kick back. Have a drink. Hey, Atrioc. Any plans for Bionicle Day this year? I don't think so. I think nine hours was enough. Uh, I think nine hours was good. I don't know that I necessarily need another Bionicle Day. Maybe if that game comes out. Do you know what I'm saying? Maybe if that... Yo, Big A, I, uh, but up, but up, but up, but uh, H-Truck, Big A, I asked you a while back who you supported in the IPL, and you said RCB, and they just won the women's comp, so thanks for the good luck. Eh, it's that easy for me. With, with uh, every sport, I can predict at 100% accuracy who's going to win um, any upcoming event, but especially championships. I just have that, that's one of my core abilities, is I keep such a firm lock on uh, all sports. Even women's sports, because I am an ally. Um, who's going to win the rugby championship? Pfft, who isn't? You know what I'm saying? With games this good, the fans are the real winners. That's my answer for that. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. I guess I, I just I guess I'm a diehard rugby fan. Um, who's winning the World Series this year? Who isn't winning? <laughs> With games this good, aren't the fans the real winners? Uh, actually, speaking of the World Series, can we talk about Shohei Otani? Whoa! Shohei the Gambler Otani, perhaps? Um, if you guys don't know, Shohei Otani was, I suppose, accused of doing some illegal gambling? Not necessarily on his own matches, but Cal it's not legal in California. And up to $4 million, I guess. And right now, the story is that his interpreter was gambling uh, without his knowledge. And that he gave his interpreter the money, because it came from his account, to pay off his debts. That is the story. Now, that that's a very convenient... It may be true. Again, I'm, I'm only learning about this today. That may be true, but it's also very convenient for a super megastar to have a story where they were they were unaware and not complicit um, with his good friend doing this gambling without his knowledge. Yeah, uh, but we will see. 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 Uh, <laughs> I can't believe Shohei Otani's interpreter got in over his head gambling. I'm not sure how this could happen. <laughs> MGM Resorts, official partner of the MLB. FanDuel, official partner of MLB. Uh, Bet Chris, official partner of MLB. DraftKings, official partner of the MLB. How are they all official partners, bro? Uh, Yeah, there's no history of any sports champion doing illegal gambling. Why would it happen now? Exactly. Exactly. Much like Michael Jordan before him, Shohei Otani is 100% innocent. Uh, I mean, as far as I could tell, as long as he didn't bet on baseball, especially his own games, you know, I don't really give a shit. I'm not, I'm not, it's not my fucking thing, but it is illegal, you know? So he has to deal with that. And I assume he's trying to, I feel like there's some... I think his attorneys are kind of uh, making sure he doesn't fucking take any of the fall. Because there's too much at stake, you know? He's the fucking... Yeah, here's, here's what I'm saying. There's a non-zero chance that Shohei Otani has a Michael Jordan-sized gambling problem. And Ipe, his translator, is such a great friend that he's taking the fall. There may be the situation this guy's his longtime friend and translator. And it's like, bro, someone's got to jump on this sword. Someone's got to do this because I got a lot at stake here. This was great. I saw this. <laughs> uh, MLB and Otani pinning his $4 million gambling debt on Ipe. Oh, they expect one of us in the wreckage, brother. 
Oh, they expect one of us in the wreckage, brother. I don't know. Listen, I don't know. I'm just saying it's very convenient. You know, it's just so, it's so uh, perfectly working out that he has zero implication. Um, hey, new international marketing Monday. I mean, I can watch that today. Put that on the docket. Actually, I should probably click it so that I have it on my docket. Um, clicked and put. Um, Itchrock, I assume you're not planning on playing Dragon's Dogma 2. Why would you assume that? Why would, why the, you know what happens when you assume? You make an ass out of yourself alone. Never assume, dude. I'm doing Dragon's Dogma 2 fucking uh, Fortnite. Which means that not Fortnite like the game, Fortnite like two weeks straight. I'm going to be playing nothing but Dragon's Dogma 2. Um, a lot of people get into that game for the dragons, but I've been in it for the dogma. And that's what makes me different than the average player. Um... <laughs> <laughs> hey update i got a job by a chatter who will pay me an exposure the chatter is going to pay you an exposure how what is the ch what platform is the chatter using to give you exposure <laughs> this is it right here this is sort of me uh i guess by extension paying you an exposure I don't know. I, I, you might have wanted to negotiate better. Um, almost Friday sketch that's also marketing and comedy. Hi, I'm Tom. I'm running. Uh, I've already watched it. It is very funny, though. Uh, yeah, I love those guys. Very, very funny. Ooh, have you seen the fact? Yeah, this is in Marketing Monday. It wins and fails on the. Are you secretly wearing 100 pants and not telling us? Can't answer that question. <laughs> I can't reveal. Cannot reveal. I could be. I could be. Uh, but I can't answer. You'll have to you'll have to speculate. You'll have to fucking do the math. Add it up. Yo, big A, any tips for long flights? Um, don't let your arms get tired. <laughs> say I can if you think it's really funny. <laughs> if you think it's super funny, say I can. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. I I asked right away and you guys responded. I was quick to it. Um, very, very appreciated. <laughs> very appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, if you are taking a long flight, I don't know. I, I like to read, but like that's cringe, right? Obviously, I know that. Um, Nintendo Switch is the goat. It's the goat. Let me get a this I guess you could also vision pro it if you're truly have no care of how you look to anyone if you have no if it doesn't bother you at all then I guess you could wear Apple Vision Pro and be like this you think I'm made of money just do what youtubers do and buy it and then return it after you've made the video <laughs> And also deduct that off your taxes, yet you returned it. Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, uh, hey, truck, my parents are flying out of the country and they're taking Boeing and not going to lie, I'm really scared. Okay, I... <laughs> it's tough for, uh, listen, the odds are very much in your favor. Obviously, obviously, obviously. Uh, so just... Rest assured, it's very extremely astronomically unlikely. But uh, that suck. But I also don't want to say like there's zero chance. Uh, but they're never zero. Uh, as long as they're not whistleblowers, they're safe. As long as your parents aren't flying Boeing and they fucking have shit to say about the safety practices there or the retaliatory practices, then they're probably fine. They're probably fine. Um... Should I buy Boeing tickets for my childhood bully? 
Yes. It's a very funny way to try and plan revenge where you end up just buying your bully a lot of great life experiences. He just travels to like Australia on your dime and you just keep praying something happens. But <laughs> he, just keep, he thinks you're like his best friend. Wow, we really turned a corner in our relationship. I just keep getting to travel to all these beautiful places. Um, just asked to do a 1700 point inspection before getting on the plane. Pretty reasonable request. Yeah, just have your parents bring like a wrench, uh, you know, some kind of bolt tightener, and do a quick look see. Check the door, you know, make sure there's enough bolts in there. Um, just have him hold up a hand and be like, hey, we're not going to take off till we're ready, okay? And then... Do, 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 do. Otani, he's stealing my money. Translator, Shohei wants to thank you for coming to the game today, Angels fans and Africa. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it is true that, like, all of his conversations go through this translator. How can we know... What's true and what isn't? Uh, what's this? Representatives of Dodgers superstar Shohei Otani on Wednesday accuses interpreter of engaging of massive theft of the ballplayer's funds to place bets with an allegedly illegal bookmaker who was targeted of federal investigation. So he stole Otani's funds. Uh, oh, the lawyers made that claim after the Times learned that Otani's name had surfaced in the investigation of Matthew Bauer, Boyer. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I hope more comes out. I hope more comes out. Actually, you know what? Hot take. If it was just him gambling on games that aren't his, I hope less comes out. <laughs> Otani, baby. Let's go. Let him play. Let him play. Let Ipe off the hook, too. They lost. They already lost $4 million. Um, Let it ride. Let him double or nothing. Mm, this comment sums the whole story up pretty well. Let's see. So here's what happened, according to Ipe ESPN. All right, Ipe incurred gambling debts to an illegal bookmaking operation in California. That was under federal investigation. During the investigation, Shohei's name and Ipe popped up in relation to registered bookmaking. As multiple large wire transfers from Shohei's account were made to the bookie. This got out, which little reporters asking about it. Okay. Otani's reps, upon questioning told ESPN that Otani had transferred funds of $4.5 million to cover his translator's gambling debts. Mm, they were sent from Otani's account to an associate of the bookmaking operations chief money dude, Matthew Boyer. Uh, Otani's reps then put Ipe out in front of ESPN for a 90-minute interview last night, which resulted in him explaining in great deal, detail, detail that he had a gambling addiction. Okay. <laughs> uh, obviously, Otani wasn't happy about it, and he said he would help me out to make sure I never do this again, and he decided to pay it off for me. I want everyone to know Shohei had zero involvement in betting. I want people to know that I did not know this is illegal. I learned my lesson the hard way. I will never do sports betting again. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm just, I'm listen. All I'm saying is it wouldn't surprise me to know that Shohei Otani had a little more knowledge and this indicates and that the lawyers are doing their job, which is they talked to this, they had a hard talk with this guy. And they're like, hey, you better fucking. Um, after Otani agreed to pay the debts, Ipe said Otani logged into his computer and sent the transfers while he watched in installments over a few months. They added loan to the description field. Obviously, he was asked why Otani didn't just give him the money instead of paying it from his accounts. And as we would all be thinking, Otani didn't want his translator to take that money and gamble it away, which is fair. Your friend has gambling debts. It's just so funny, though. <laughs> your friend tells you you're four and a half million in the hole. And so you hook up your account to the gambling. Uh, 
to the bookie directly and start depositing. Um, however, Ipe recanted the statement the next day and said Otani had no knowledge of his gambling debts and had not transferred the money to the bookmaker's associate. Okay, see, I bet this would still cause Otani to get in trouble. So they try to double down even more. <laughs> Bro, Otani, you like to gamble a little bit. It's not a big deal, bro. You like to play some bets on some basketball games. That's not a big deal. Um, let's see. He, Otani's spokesman also disavowed Ipe's account prior to it coming out and instead said that Otani's lawyer would issue a statement. Yeah, he's going to be facing legal issues given that the money came directly from his account. So they're setting up the defense that someone moved this money without my permission. I see. Yeah, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, we end up with the statement from Burke Prettler LLP, which are Shohei's legal representatives. They have one-star reviews on Google. Uh, in the course of responding to recent media inquiries, we have discovered that Shohei has been the victim of a massive theft. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, but you know what? That makes me think maybe this guy's um, original recollection is maybe more accurate. Maybe he did. Or maybe they both gambled. Do you know what I'm saying? Maybe it was mostly his translator, but he gambled a little bit, and then this guy covered all his best. It's tough to say, bro. It's tough to, But it seems like it seems likely that he knew of it, at least. Um. Mm. Ipe placed bets on international soccer matches and some other sports, but never baseball. Uh, oh, there you go. That's the only thing I'd be worried about. Again, the only thing that'd be crazy is if Shohei was like Shohei or Ipe, which would still be a little too close for comfort. If they're betting on their own games or betting on games they can influence the outcome of, that's that's rigged and that's cheating and that's terrible and that's bad and could possibly, probably should lead to like excommunication from the sport if that was the case but if they're betting on things that are like games they can't control it doesn't really matter it's like the 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 leagues are all promoting gambling bro it's crazy just because it's not legal in california um how did the bookie let him run it up to 4.5 million without any payments or collateral well if it's shohei it would be no problem <laughs> they know he's good for it if it's ipay's translator that makes less sense um Do, 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 do. Um. Da, 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 da. Hmm, 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 hmm. One way or another, this is going to be litigated. Uh, Shoei is going to be involved, and whoever told Ipe to sit in front of ESPN and give a tell-all was not a lawyer. That's actually so true. They, sh they, yeah, the fact that they went on ESPN right after is fucking crazy. Uh, anyway, pretty big sports news. Obviously, a lot of memes about it. But at the end of the day, Shohei is so beloved, and the worst possible interpretation of this, assuming they don't have any baseball games in, in the bet, is that he's a gambler with four million. Like Michael Jordan did that. He's still the goat. I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna hurt him too much. That's the worst possible interpretation. Um, I love you, man. Uh, Ipe going to federal prison as the fall guy to cover up Shohei Otani's gambling addiction. Is this even a federal crime? Assuming, uh, well, I guess if they if they say he stole it, if the if the story becomes that Ipe stole four and a half million dollars from Shohei Otani. And then gambled it. That's bad. Uh... Fucking love you, man. Love the shit out of you, man. <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> he paid Bernie Shoy's entire two million salary this year on a twenty-leg parlay. <laughs> Uh... <laughs>
<laughs> they were interacting this morning. They're laughing about it. Interesting. Damn, Shohei, I guess we're screwed. They traced the 4.5 million back to our gambling ring. I guess we'll have to turn ourselves in now. Shohei. We? <laughs> <laughs> we. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> Bro, I mean, they just can't let a legend down, dude. The guy's got, the guy's got decades of money printing ahead of him. It would be such an own goal. Um, boop, 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 boop. Bro, it is absolutely that Shoya Time is gambling, and Bro's gonna go up. I guarantee this doesn't happen. I would, I would take that. I would gamble on that. I'd put a million dollars that Shoya Time doesn't say a day in prison, bro. I'll tell you that. Uh, not one day. This dude's too, too beloved. He's getting a pardon. <laughs> Presidential pardon if he's got to. This dude's not going to prison. Zero shot, dude. This is a, a fucking legend in two countries. America's pastime. Japan's pastime. He can fucking pitch and he can hit. No, dude. He's not going to prison. Um, but if anything, it would be Biden would love for there to be an opportunity to pardon him. <laughs> this, would be, this would be good for Biden's poll numbers, dude. If right before the election, Biden pardons Otani and has a handshake <laughs> uh, press conference with him, that would be, yeah. I mean, again, as far as all the accusations seem to say is that somebody with Otani's money. Gambled four and a half million dollars on non-baseball sports games, which again in many states is totally fine, just not in California. I think he'll be okay. I think he'll. I think it'll all work out. Um, I sure have heard of these people. Otani's uh, currently what the most famous, best baseball player in the world, uh, highest paid athlete. Uh, signed the biggest deal with 700 million <laughs> fucking um, so he's uh, yeah he's he's just he's he's omega goaded he makes two million a mirror yeah yeah but it's all deferred he's just he's not and also, also you're not in counting sponsorships he's making plenty he's not broke not even rich broke two million a year um I've been getting two and a half men on clips on TikTok. Used to watch it with me mum. The kids on TikTok now know comedy gold. What show? Two and a half men is not a good show. <laughs> it's, it's not a good show. I don't know what to tell you. But I do think um, every show will be, every single show will be sliced up for TikTok and re reduced to clips that can be consumed easily. There's not a show that won't make it to TikTok. Because uh, it's just free content. They they just they steal it. They cut it. They upload it. They get views. They make some amount of money. And the copyright holder can't catch them in time. Um, do, 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 do. I think some movies are filmed in way to be clipped. What the fuck does that mean? Movies are filmed in way to be clipped. What, what decipher this for me? <laughs> what, you, what, you're, what are you trying to say? Directors have brain rot. You mean, you mean people are making films in 2024 with the intention that someone on TikTok will grab it, cut it into parts, and one of those parts will go viral. You think Oppenheimer is clip farming? <laughs> 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 
No, I, I, I mean, listen, I'm not saying they've never thought about that. I think more realistically, they make the film than they try to find the parts that would make sense for clips. Same thing with trailers, same kind of thing. Um, you know, uh, films do think about moments that would be good for the trailer. So it's uh, same kind of thing. I don't think they're planning for part 38 to be a banger on TikTok. Um, do, 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 what are your thoughts on joining the military after doing college after bro they'll pay for your college you already did college and you're gonna do military after i don't know uh i i i'm not super pro and i think everyone i saw on bases growing up seemed pretty depressed <laughs> it's all like dudes with a charger and drinking monsters and playing video games. I mean, I you know, I don't know. I I, I feel like I'm not saying nobody has a good time. My dad ended up really loving the military after after a long time. But I don't know. I I wouldn't do it myself, and so I have a hard time recommending it. Um. Maybe there's an officer track you can take. You have a college degree. Yeah, you could do officer track. I don't know if you can't. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm sure there's something. You got a CS degree. Maybe there's a a nice white collar, stable <laughs> government job side of the military. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not ruling it out, bro. Uh, I just think uh, the like enlisted airmen I saw were all fucking miserable. Um. The shirt looks small on you, Big A. Well, I did do back and arms yesterday, so yeah, maybe it's really starting to kick in. But uh, I don't know. Uh, this is the shirt I put on, so deal with it. Hey, it's rock. Uh... Hi, Punch. How was fall, guys? How was fall, guys, Punch? Did you have a fun time? Are you caught up on Shogun? I'm not caught up. We did Shogun Sundays, me, Lud, and Shake Drizzle on Sunday. We watched two episodes, bringing our total to four. We've watched four. I think there's five now. So we're one behind. We loved it. Fourth episode was my favorite so far. Real blast. I don't know if I mentioned this, but when we did Shogun Sundays the first time, it was on Shake's tiny ass fucking TV and he watched the whole episode without reading glasses so he could not see the fucking subtitles and he just pretended to understand what was going on for a full hour. It's his TV. We were waiting for him. I how that's to me that's so mind-boggling to just sit there and pretend and then finally he admit we were talking about it after he's like, I couldn't read any. <laughs> I was like, bro, the whole show's in Japanese. You can't hear, you just can't, that's, just say something, sit closer. I, oh my God, it was baffling. It was truly baffling. Um, uh, so we fixed that for this time around. Ishrock, when are you gonna give in and become a full-time League of Legends streamer? Now, saying give in implies there's overwhelming pressure from the outside to do that. I don't feel that pressure at all. I don't, I, I, if anything, I feel the opposite. I mean, people would be yelling at me if I did it. <laughs> they would be so mad if I were to try and play League of Legends full time. I wouldn't enjoy it. There would be, there's nobody who wants it. Um, everyone's begging you. No, I don't think so. I think you're doing it as a bit right now, but I don't think you actually want me to. I did play TFT today. I played TFT with Yeti and Stans. It was fun. There's a new set. I haven't done Neural League yet. I will, though. Um, but uh, but, but, but uh, I am playing Soma this week. What is your first time chat message is this? How do you... How do you know? Um, wait, you didn't know we all wanted it? Well, now you do. Play some League for me, League Monkey. Well, that really convinced me. <laughs> you know how to charm a guy. Uh, Shogun good? Yeah, it's fantastic. 
Shogun's kind of like um, historical fiction Game of Thrones set in Japan. You know? Set in real world Japan. A um, little bit of betrayals, a little bit of backstabs, a little bit of assassinations, a little bit of uh, seppuku, a little bit of... Uh, You know, it's it's good. It's good. And it's all around the time period when, like, Western nations were starting to discover and trade with Japan and bring guns and shit that really upended, guns and religion that upended long-running social structures and um, power dynamics in Japan. It's very interesting. Um... Uh, so I would recommend it. I think it's high. But you have to, I mean, I think there is a dub if you truly want to check the fuck out and have three screens open while you watch it. <laughs> but otherwise, you have to watch. Like, if you put it on and you you can't have your phone out, you can't have your... You have to just watch. Mm. I don't get why they become Christians. Bro, it's a good question. I thought that myself with the way the show portrays it. It's like, why are like these Japanese people becoming Christians when it shows up on their shore um some of them for money i mean again there's a lot of money in it some of them just fucking fall for the pitch um it, you know happens uh good marketing yeah the preachers just fucking sp were spitting about jc um i'd become a christian for cold hard cash tbh okay <laughs> i don't think they're offering <laughs> i mean I guess you could show up on Sunday and steal from the collection plate. If that, I just feel like long term that might be a bad. Do you know what I'm saying? You could sit in the pews and every time you could swipe a fucking. Uh, this movie's called Silence. It's long. Um. The original in 1980 aired on TV with no subtitles, but the same amount of Japanese dialogue. It was an artistic choice since the Anjin could also couldn't understand what they were saying. That's fucking crazy. And that is exactly how Shake Drizzle experienced it. <laughs> experienced the new one. I think this new one was not designed with that in mind. They say many very important things to the plot with subtitles in Japanese. And he had no idea what was happening. By the end of the show, we were talking about it, and he clearly didn't follow it at all. <laughs> it's like, at all. No fucking idea what was going on. Um, why doesn't he just learn Japanese so I understand the show? Dude, I couldn't have two people. It's already so fucking annoying with Ludwig who between episodes will sit there doing Japanese Duolingo where it's like, that doctor is four years old. You know, it just, and then <laughs> he keeps fucking saying that. And then when we're fucking watching the episode, he'll hear one word that he recognizes and he goes, you know, ah, konnichiwa. <laughs> it's like fucking, shut up, shut up, dude. Um... Do, 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 do. Um, hey, Big A, I'm 21 today. What should I do? Not what I did when I turned 21, which is 21 shots of Jack Daniels whiskey in a Korean bar. Completely blacked out. Uh, vomit. <laughs> Disaster. Can't even sniff Jack Daniels to this day without feeling sick. Um, just huge, huge, huge disaster. Uh, taxi drivers wouldn't take me home. Terrible, terrible, terrible time drinking. So I wouldn't do that. Um, I would do 21 shots of something else in an American bar. When we meet, I'm gonna bring you a big old bottle of Jack. Before I leave, brush my teeth with a bottle of Jack. Okay, that's what I've always said. 
how can we get in on the religion business? I actually feel like this is your first time chat message. I feel like religion as a business, I mean, I feel like its best days are behind it, dude. The, you know, the real money was in when the Pope could fucking take down kings. <laughs> like when, when you could have crusades, when you had giant gaudy golden churches. When you, when you could sell indulgences, that's where the real money was. And then, you know, we got mega churches nowadays that make good money. You could be a nice pastor with a private jet who tells his followers that are all broke to send them, <laughs> you know, a chunk of their money. Uh, you could prey on old people, sell them little gems and jewels and shit for <laughs> 50 bucks a pop. Uh, yeah, you could try to do that. I just feel like the greatest grifters have already done that, and you're probably not going to match up. Um, hey, Shrek, I'm worried that Xi Jinping's new Riz will come between me and my significant other. He's just so cute. You are worried that Xi Jinping, the ruler of China, and his new Riz, which is just his attempt to increase tourism to China, will somehow split up your SO. And I can't even tell if you think your significant other will be attracted to Xi or that you are so attracted to Xi that it's going to break you up because <laughs> you're calling him cute. So it almost feels like you are so worried that you will break up with your own significant other to try and chase after Xi Jinping, who I think, actually, I know is taken. <laughs> He's married. You know, I, I just... Tell me how that tracks up. Tell me how that love triangle. I hate love triangles, dude. So messy. So messy. Can I get a water answer? Yes. One second. Water, 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 water. Anyway, what else is going on? Oh, let's talk about Neuralink. Let's talk about Neuralink, bro. Did you see this? Uh, where did I put this? Neuralink. Boop, 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 boop. Check this out. Became. Check this out. I think it just became intuitive for me to start imagining the cursor moving um basically it was like uh using the force on a <laughs> cursor and i could get it to move wherever i wanted just stare somewhere in the screen and it would move where i wanted it to um which was such a wild i think it just became an this is crazy he can control chess games and apparently civ 6 with his mind uh it's a dude who's paralyzed um uh... The implications are pretty crazy. I mean, the tweet I saw from um, Levy was chess is dead. <laughs> how do you how do you screen for that? Uh, isn't that the ultimate cheating device? R.I.P. Chess. Uh, vibrating neural beads. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure some of us old, you know, classic chess cheaters, we're going to stick with the classics, okay? I have spent way too long training with the anal beads to try and switch. When I enter tournaments, I'm not going to be doing the Neuralinks too much. I need the buzz, okay? Me and Hans Niemann will stick to the classics. Um, put them in a Faraday cage. I don't... 
necessarily know what that is. Faraday cage. A Faraday cage is a container made of conducting material that shields what it encloses from external electric fields. Uh, so it prevents external electromagnetic interference. Um, external. Mm, but isn't this internal? Hmm. How do they, I mean, are they just calling out their move or are they moving? <laughs> um, they're, they're in the cage right when they're playing. So do, 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 do. you can use those fuckers to get past security measures in stores or so I've been told. Wait, I heard about this. You make like the, whatever, the lines bag and then you toss the thing in there with the RFID chip and then walk out and it doesn't doesn't let the Yeah, I know about this. I know about this. Um Saying chess is dead is no reaction. Of course it's no reaction. Obviously chess is not dead, but like obviously this adds a whole new dimension. Once people can have computers in their brains that are harder to detect that adds a adds a tweak for sure. Um, I brain slipped. Please draw. <laughs> Wait, let me. Uh, there's got to be some regulations because this won't only affect chess, but literally every online activity that requires competitiveness, such as online exams. Um, this is brain to machine output. Probably going to be a while until we get machine to brain input. I guess that's true. Um, there's easier ways to get stockfish moves than a brain implant. <laughs> hey, we already know. We already know, Luke. We know about the other ways. I'm just saying as it evolves. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I honestly can't think of anything worse than putting a computer in my brain. It already feels like we are rotting at astronomical levels. I don't want... Not only that, but like, <laughs> you know, with how fast technology advances, whoever does this with the first wave is going to be stuck with the lamest fucking implants. <laughs> the, like, the worst, you know? The, it's like, the, it's like a, you're having the the... the the bulky fat iPod of of implants. <laughs> you have the one, you have the one that like won't work on any cars in 2020, 2040, you know? You have the one that like doesn't connect to anything. You can't. Uh, yeah, I just, I, I would, I'm not gonna be part of the first three waves on this. Um, Makes you watch an ad. Yeah, I mean, the dystopian, the nightmare outcome of this is that you are like getting ads delivered to your brain. <laughs> or, or whenever you feel the momentary bit of sadness, it just triggers your dopamine receptor automatically. So we can really just be the fucking rat in the cage forever, dude. Just skip, just skip the middleman of having to watch shit content. Or whatever, just you just literally sit there and it fucking taps the button. Um, it plays big A clips when I'm feeling down. <laughs> um, Itrock Marketing Mondays got me into UCLA. That's sick. I, don't, I think your hard work did that, but uh, I will take full credit. And you just give me a percentage of what you make after you graduate, okay? Um, a quick percent. Ooh! Ah. Mm, 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 mm. How about 30%? That seems fair. That seems fair. He's going into debt and then billing you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. You can't do that. 
Um, H Rock, marketing money's made me go homeless and bankrupt. I would like, could you explain to me how that happened? How did a YouTube series covering, you know, marketing and business news make you go homeless and bankrupt? You told us to use Afterpay. That's, that's like, it's like, if there's one thing I've said not to use. No, I didn't. I literally, you cannot say you use Klarna or Afterpay because of Marketing Monday. Because the one thing, the one takeaway is that Klarna, Afterpay, and sports gambling are bad. I heard about FTX from you and dumped all my money. So you didn't really listen. <laughs> you just, you heard the words FTX and said, well, that sounds good. I don't know if I could be blamed for that. I don't know if I could be blamed for that. You told me to use DraftKings. I did say that DraftKings stock was going up back in 2023, January, but that's not the same thing. I put NVIDIA options one year ago, and now I am one trillion in debt. I mean, I guess if you bought puts, <laughs> but if you got NVIDIA options, you should have a lot of money <laughs> a year ago. Um, mm. Itrahawk, would you ever get a tattoo on your knuckles spelling out chicken? to subvert expectations. What what encourages you to write something like this? No. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> what would that gain me? Just subverting expectations? That sounds stupid. That sounds like adding a scene where Princess Leia flies across space like Mary Poppins with a fucking umbrella just to mix things up <laughs> you know i just i feel like that'd be stupid i feel like that'd be dumb um <laughs> when you finally lodge big a kings will your stance on gambling bad change my competitor to draft kings will be called big a kings doesn't even have the reason it has draft in it so you know it's about Fantasy draft. This is just called Big A Kings. There's not even. It doesn't. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like Big A Kings. <laughs> like you're aching. It sounds bad. It does not a very good brand name. Uh, Wetzel's Draftles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. This is a little bit copyright infringement on Wetzel's pretzels. They might have some words, but Wetzel's draftles. That sounds pretty good. Maybe you get a pretzel and you get a bet. Every every successful bet, you get a free pretzel. Actually, Wetzel's Betzels is much better. You really did just absolutely improve it. Wetzel's Betzels. In fact, what if I buy Wetzel's pretzels and I add a gambling arm? To where you can get Wetzel's Pretzels and Wetzel's Betzels. There's a little fucking sports book in every Wetzel's Pretzels. And they're in airports. And they're in um, uh, arenas. Like, you know, I went to Crypto to watch the Lakers game. There was a Wetzel's Pretzels there. Now I can go in there and I can grab a pretzel and make a bet. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Now we're getting max value. Um... Instead of winning money, you just win pretzels. Well, then no one's going to bet. <laughs> Except for me, because I love pretzels. I I would bet for the price of winning pretzels, but I don't think anyone else. Um, what else is going on in the fucking world? Mm, what, 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 what is the news? Where's the haps? Does anyone hear about anything? I feel like I brought two amazing stories. Neuralink and Shohei Otani's possible gambling ring. Okay. What else? Watch parties are going away. Yeah, because we had the best one of all. After we did the Ricky Stanicki watch party, they realized it could never be topped. They realized that the future had peaked. Um, just me in the dark giggling at Ricky Stanicki for an hour and a half. We had a good time. And now it's gone. I am very... When does it go away? Because I was hoping I had to watch the boys with chat. 
I'm pretty pissed. I I don't know how we're gonna do that. I watched season one, two, three with chat using watch parties. And if it goes away, then I can no longer do that. Uh, I will not feel comfortable watching the boys illegally. Um, so that sucks. That sucks. I really hope we can find a way. Um, yeah, the yeah, it would be too. It's too new to try and pull the fucking clips gambit. To try and pull the the house MD gambit. It, I don't know why they're getting rid of it. I, I assume maybe there's. I don't know. I, it's it's even if it's not extremely well used, it's it's got such potential. It's so cool. Um. I mean, they should replace it with you can stream any Prime video thing to your chat, no problem. That would be crazy. <laughs> that would be fucking awesome, dude. Um, I think that would be... They should do that. U.S. warning for possible Chinese hackers attacking water infrastructure? Interesting. Chinese hackers water. U.S. warns that hackers are carrying out attacks on water systems. Thankfully, I only drink pure... Prime from Logan Paul and KSI. So I don't need filthy water. And Chinese can never take that away. Uh, the Chinese, the U.S. government is warning state governors that foreign hackers are carrying out disruptive cyber attacks against water and sewage systems throughout the country. Jesus. Um, Iranian and Chinese cyber saboteurs are disabling a controller at a water facility. The Chinese hacking group Volt Typhoon, which I think is a Pokemon move. <laughs> Am I crazy? Well, it's only going to show me this. Volt Typhoon. Uh, <laughs> is, it is pretty wicked. Um, they had compromised IT security of multiple critical infrastructure systems, including drinking water in the United States and its territories. That's fucked. Um, what's wild to me, though. Wait, what? <laughs> Last year's intrusion at a booster facility, which monitors and regulates water pressure. The stricken controller was replaced with a message saying, you've been hacked like a fucking 80s movie. Did it have the skull and crossbones on it and say, you know, in green text, you've been hacked. I, I didn't think that happened in real life. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, I, what's weird is that they would reveal it like this. That's what is odd. Like, there's no reason right now to reveal that you've penetrated U.S. water security. Because uh, uh, they'll get fixed. I don't know. That's That's odd. Um, what do they gain? I mean, it's, unless it's going to cripple <laughs> nationwide water, I assume it just gets fixed and then people are more on their guard. It feels odd to do it. Mm. Who cares? You need water to survive is a myth anyway. All you really need is Dr. Pepper. This would be such a wild thing for a president to come out and say. <laughs> for, you know, Joe Biden to deliver us an address and be like, yeah, they got us. They got us on the water, but who cares? <laughs> it's a Trump tweet. <laughs> uh, oh, it's all part of Dr. Carbonation's long-term plot, dude. Make water demonized and scary so they get get off the water system. We all start drinking soda. All of a sudden, he's more powerful. Interesting. Very interesting. Extremely interesting. But he would need some kind of way to... 
start getting the message out, like some sort of stream or something where he could talk about the story. I don't get it. He seems like a real devious fellow, this Dr. Carbonation. Um, geez, there is a lot of this. Cyber attacks are hitting water systems throughout the U.S. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, Big A, I just tuned in the stream and I'm concerned by the lack of glizzy jokes. Can we get a few to cut the edge? If you have a really good one. If you have a real uh, penetrating good glizzy joke, then drop it in. Hey, let's do, uh, oh, you know what? While I'm thinking of next stories to talk about, let's fucking pop open the amazing New York Times connections, baby. I fucking love connections now. Connections, connections, connections. Play groups of common words. Wait, I gotta, I turn off. I gotta turn off chat. Chat's off. I don't want to see what you guys have to say. All right, create four groups of four. Very intriguing. Four groups of four. Obviously. Types of ice cream, Neapolitan, Parmesan. You ever had a Parmesan ice cream? That's fucking tasty. <laughs> Tastes like real cheese. All right, creamsicle is type of ice cream. Um, I don't see any other types of ice cream. So I'm not so sure about this one. Uh, Parmesan and Bolognese, it's all like Italian food type shit, type beat. How about Fujifilm and Polaroid? That seems pretty easy. Fujifilm, Polaroid, camera, camera, camera. Olympus, yeah, camera. Jumbotron? That's not a type of camera. I feel like we're missing just one here. I mean, that's, come on, dude, come on. Tell me we haven't, we're not circling greatness here. Okay, what about, um, Mountains, Rushmore. Wait, 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 wait. Scoreboard, Jumbotron, Kiss Cam. Do you see some? Skybox? Things you'd find at a baseball game. Fucking stupid. No, of course not. I didn't mean that. No, I was kidding. No, that's not. That's not what I really think. I obviously don't. I was uh, doing a funny bit. Um, Jumbotron, Kiss Cam, Scoreboard. Uh-oh, the fourth one. The fourth one. AstroTurf. Things you'd find at a baseball game. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm doing a bit. I'm doing a bit. I'm doing a bit. Where obviously, I've got baseball in the brain from the Otani stuff. And I would never, ever say that those things would appear at a fucking baseball game. However, I am a little bit nervous that I used two of my lifelines already. So, Rushmore Olympus, Mount Rushmore, Mount Olympus, Mount Fuji, imagine, Mount Parmesan, Hasselbad. Dude, imagine this is it. Imagine it's four Mountains. I don't know what Hasselbad is, but it feels like it could be a mountain. Imagine. Oh, I fucked it. <laughs> oh, now I have to really clutch. Oh, Chad, I actually fucked it. I've actually put myself in a hole from which there is no escape. I have one mistake remaining. I'm going to get fucking swept here. I actually have to clutch. Okay. All right. Okay. I don't, I definitely don't want to get swept here. Let's lock in. Let's lock in. Spaghetti bolognese. We love that. Dude, I can't um, I can't believe that Kiss Cam Jumbotron scoreboard. I, I just this is this is baffling to me. Hmm. 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 Damn that's sour. Okay. Wait, am I just am I am I I'm stuck. I'm stuck, dude. I journeyman. Journeyman. 
Could be a type of camera. <laughs> Mm, ice cream types. Ice cream types. These are camera. Camera. Dude, I just feel like I'm... I got a lot of threes. It's almost like they build these so you can get threes easily, but the fourth is often a little bit more nebulous so it can overlap. Leaving you struggling. <sighs> I don't. I don't know. Nothing. Nothing starts with me. I, I gotta. I gotta. I gotta make one more choice. So. So. Mountains. Come on. Tell me that's not. Maybe it's not mountains. Maybe it's um. Maybe it's. Is the Venetian named after a mountain? I feel like. Dude, I. I feel like it's so based. To have Fujifilm be a uh, red herring. And it's actually about relating to mountains. Mount Fuji. I think that's fucking cracked. I think that's so smart. But no one's going to give me credit for it. No one in chat is going to give me credit. I need, I need a fucking song for this. I need, uh, I need classical music. DMCA free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I need like Mozart. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Now I feel five times more intelligent and I'd be able to solve this with ease. Creamsicle. Analyzing. Creamsicle. Of or relating to ice cream. Neapolitan ice cream. I've checked this so many times. What if... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Okay, what if it's Italian stuff? Spaghetti bolognese, Neapolitan ice cream, um, Parmesan. Let's talk Italy. Let's talk Italy. Okay. No, wait a minute. Let's talk. Let's talk Italia, Venetian. Clutch. Yes. 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 He. Fire! Yes! Okay, now we've cut some of the fucking wheat from the chaff. All right! Italy, baby! Yes, he fucking clutches these. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Shut up, Mozart. You're good at music, but you don't understand connections like I do. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. I am seeing more options now rather than less because we've narrowed the scope. What if it's... Words that start with J. <laughs> I click Fujifilm. <laughs> no. No, I, I'm going to go ahead and rule that one out. Science is about ruling things out more of the time. You guys know what we can get at. Okay. Hmm. Fuck! Damn, those Sour Patch hit. They are extreme. All right. Okay. I still think I'm onto something with uh, with 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 mountains, but assuming we can't do that, what about things related to baseball? <laughs> Sorry to start. Don't go down that road again. What about things related to damn? Tell me that's not correct. Well, <laughs> damn. Um... I just I, I, I'm so shocked that Jumbotron and Kiss Cam aren't related. But maybe they're not? It's a fucking red herring. Dude! Dude, what a rush! Okay. What about things related to mountains? That's Fujifilm, Olympus, Rushmore. Uh 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 Oh, what's related to a mountain? What's related to a mountain? Journeyman? Skybox. Damn, bro. I just... I don't... This could be cameras, too. Related to cameras? Um, no. It's just too risky. Bro, I feel like I'm getting played here. 
uh, by big New York Times games. I feel like they've act I think this one's unsolvable. They've created the first. Un they've they've only put three in. They forgot. AstroTurf, we know, is related to. Um, I mean, it could be related to fake grass in like a sports setting, or it could be like, um, you know, uh, fake arguments online that are designed to uh, convince people that they're real and that there's more support for a certain point of view. Now, I don't think that connects to anything. So, like... Did I already do these? Jumbotron, Kiss Cam, AstroTurf, Skybox. But also Scoreboard would have to be in there. I think I did this and it lost and it feels so right. Jumbotron, Kiss Cam, Scoreboard, Skybox? You're telling me that's not things you see when you look up at a baseball game. <laughs> that what, Why is that not a slam dunk? Oh, man. All right. I have to make a pick. I have to make a pick. I have to put myself on a clock here. I, within the next fucking 45 seconds, I will make a golden pick. Let's just lock in. Creamsicle. Creamsicle. Cream. Sickle. What is Hasselblad? <laughs> This is the this is the fucking nightmare. Hasselblad is throwing me off. Creamsicle. Hasselblad. Just what is it? I have no idea. Creamsicle. <laughs> Chat, be honest. I can't see what you're saying, but press a thousand if you think saying creamsicle five more times will solve it for me. Because right now it's my only solution. Creamsicle. 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 I don't even see anything else that really relates to Creamsicle. I don't, none, of the, none of this even tracks for me. Creamsicle is something you might see. You might see. I don't know. I, where? What? What? In what world? And then Journeyman? Oh my god, dude. All right, I got nothing. I'm I'm fucking dead lost. Fujifilm, Olympus, Rushmore. These are mountains. Bum ba da bum 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 bum. Journeyman. Imagine. <laughs> I'm just knowing that it's not gonna work. <laughs> Have you ever just known that the button you're going to click is going to fail and that everyone's going to be like, you idiot, it should have been this. But I just don't, I'm just circling it. Well, I got an idea. What if I shuffle it? This is going to, this is going to spark something. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. Polaroid. Polar. Void of or relating to cameras. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. We got it. And then and then dude, what what is Hasselblad? Just <laughs> can I do emote only mode? And then someone can tell me in emote mode if Hasselblad what it is. Explain it to me in emotes. Oh, we are in. Okay, I'm sorry. You gotta have chat. Okay, you guys are just spamming camera. <laughs> Wait, is Hasselblad a camera? Oh my god, this is it. Hasselblad is a type of camera. Oh, it's a camera brand. Holy shit! Hasselblad's a camera. That 
Oh, that makes so much more sense. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, I was really convinced that the Fuji Olympus bait and switch camera into a mountain thing would have been. Okay, wait, I can solve this. Mozart, this is where you come in. I know the rest of these words, so. Jumbotron, Kiss Cam, Scoreboard, Skybox. Rushmore, Creamsicle, AstroTurf, Journeyman. How do those relate? They don't. That puts me in a bit of a pickle. These, hmm. How does Creamsicle, Journeyman, AstroTurf, and Rushmore relate? It simply does not. Therefore, I find myself up Shit's Creek with a paddle. If that makes any sense. <laughs> shuffle it, shuffle it, shuffle it, shuffle it. I'm just going to pick the top four and then shuffle it. <laughs> Scoreboard, Creamsicle, AstroTurf, Journeyman. Does that make any sense? Shuffle it. Jumbotron, Rushmore, Skybox, Scoreboard. Does that make any sense? AstroTurf, Kiss Cam, Cream. How would these ever relate? AstroTurf relates to what? Just give me one word in here that it relates to. AstroTurf could relate to... It can relate to Jumbotron. Because it's like sports. Sports. This could relate. Okay. Uh, you could buy a creamsicle at the game. And watch the scoreboard. But that doesn't really make sense. <laughs> uh, there must be another thing for Rushmore than just the mountain, right? Mount Rushmore has nothing to do with this. Dude, why do I have so many... Okay, okay, everyone relax. We're gonna shuffle it again. Journeyman, Kiss Cam, Jumbo Schwanz. Dude, this has got to be, got to be. Rushmore, 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 Rushmore. I'm missing something. I'm missing a piece of the puzzle. Maybe eating a very sour candy will save me. Hmm. Okay, okay. Ooh. People are just saying glizzy. No, they're not doing that. They're singing. Singing, songs, journey, rush, kiss. Cream? <laughs> Journey. Rush. Kiss. I don't know of any band called Astro or Sky or Score or Jumbo or, I mean, maybe it's Cream. Sounds like it could be right. And then that would leave me with Skybox. AstroTurf Jumbotron scoreboard, which does make sense. Oh dear God. Fuck it! Let's go! Let's go! AstroTurf Skybox Jumbotron scoreboard. Let's go! Seen at a sports stadium. All right. All right. Man, I do love me some connections. That was fun. Uh, thank you, Mozart, and thank you, chat. Dum, 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 dum. Uh, wow. Starting with rock bands. Who? What's a What's a Cream song? Cream song, eighties. Cream. Cream. The best of Cream. Cream. Yeah, man, I've heard that song. So. Great. I just didn't know about cream. That's cool. Um, Pog and Champ. Pog and Champ. Mm. 
Mm. Hey, I got top comment on your video one time. Should I put it on my resume? Generally, the top comment on my video is like the first person to make a joke about glizzies or some shit. <laughs> like almost usually there's like firsts and then there's like stupid crap. And then there's like, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm saying yes. I'm saying yeah. Long story short, I'm saying yes. Should be the top of your resume. Okay, what about um, what about Time Guesser? While we're on the fucking subject, coffee cow jokes. Yes, Time Guesser daily. Let's fucking go. Okay. Again, the goal is to beat thirty six thousand. That's my goal today. Thirty six thousand points. I think it can be done. And I find myself looking at. English language country um, in the I'm getting a 20s vibe from the hat. I'm getting a 20s vibe. 20s, 1920s. Do I know where we are? No, I don't. I don't know where we are. I mean, I'm, it's almost like a, a New York I get like a New York in the 20s type vibe. They got shoe shiners. They got people in suits. Um, French cleaning and dying doesn't mean it's in France. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting a New York in the 20s vibe, but I don't have anything else going for me. West 49th Street. Again, I get the, you know, big city, a lot of streets. 20s. Um... Slop Inc. <laughs> uh, I found out where chat works. Slop Inc., bro. Mm, 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 mm. God. Fuck. Okay, I know I said that. Damn it. I know I said that extremes are just regulars because they fucking inflated it. But these are actually fucking sour. Like, they're actually extreme. Either that or I've gone soft. It's possible. Um, it's possible I've gone soft. All right. Let's analyze. There's got to be something. I see a San. I do see a San. San could be the F, could be a D. Could be... Mm, Hmm. Suits pressed. Damn, it's really tough to say. Just a major American city. Hmm. Where? Oh, jobs open. Hospitals. Dude, I'm just fucking analyzing here. Wednesday. Hmm. Sandwich. Um, what's this? What's this? What's this? Nothing I can read. There's a big hole in the middle, which is odd. <laughs> Why is there a big fucking hole? Uh, what about this? Can't really read that. I don't know. I mean, I actually, this this sand is confusing me because it could be, it could either be New York or it could be SF. Um, or I guess it could be San Diego. But I think in terms of size. I got nothing. I, I got nothing. I'm going to go with my original gut. I don't know, dude. I don't know. The, I mean, the outfits. Oh, man. Sand. sand. If it goes any farther, if I have one more letter, that could say, like, sandwiches. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It just doesn't, that's not enough uh, for me. I'm going to go to fucking New York. New York. Concrete jungle where dreams are made of. There's nothing you can do. Now you're in New York. Oh! These streets will make you feel brand new. Big lights will inspire you. Now you're a new... It was the 30s, though, huh? 1937, wow. 
Definitely got 20s vibes from these outfits, but I guess they carried over. Very close. I could have, I guess, even gotten more downtown. Um, they were reviewed by FSA director Roy Stryker, who would kill photos he disapproved of by punching a hole through them. <laughs> All right. All right, Roy Stryker. You sound like a fan fiction character. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. We are now in a different time, a different place, and a different era. Hmm. Jolly old London. Oi, bruv. London and Manchester are trash. What is it? Uh, okay, London and Manchester. So we're, we're in jolly old London. Okay. That's And this is like small Ben. <laughs> if I had to guess. This is this is this is small Ben. Lesser known, but true UK bruvs know about it. Um where would So this is Manchester and this is London. And this is a bus that crosses between the two. Is this a Manchester icon? Is Small Ben... Maybe it's the University of Saltford. Okay? And I get from the, the hairstyles and the color and the cars. This is late 60s. Maybe early 70s. Give me a 1971 Manchester. Boom! Baby! Boom! Boom! Yes! Yes! 9.4K! It was in Leeds, which is still fucked, but... Um... It was early 70s. Early 70s. Uh... Okay. That's a fucking... That's a, that's a banger. That's what you need if you're trying to get those big poots. Now we're on to the next one. Okay? What do we got here? I got... I got black and white. We're putting me in the past. We got Viva Dubek. We got Socialism Paulesta. Pac Pacoa Vastan. Been saying. I actually have been saying that. Um, long live Dubek. He's either very socialist or not socialist enough. I can't. <laughs> I'm not sure what they're advocating for. Uh, they want it to be more Paulesta. And I've been saying that about socialism. It's not Polesta enough. And it's not Vastan enough. And that's... Tell me about the styles. Uh, relatively. I almost think... Damn, I feel like late 70s, but it's Poland? Or something? Viva. I'm actually I'm actually a little about to see on this one. Um, I'm actually a little bit out to sea on this one. I don't know what language this is. I'm not picking up on this language. Ekstrom. Um, Utus. I don't know. Dubek. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm getting a, I'm getting like a, like a mid seventies vibe, which is odd because it's still black and white, but it could be like a, European, a little behind the times thing. Is it fucking crazy to say like this is Italy or something? Is that is that nuts? Is that fucking out there? Like northern Italy? Am I gonna be fucking tried and hung? I'm already hung, but <laughs> but I'm gonna get tried for it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. This one's my my heart. When I'm looking at this. I think it's like Eastern Europe, bro. I feel like I don't even. But maybe it's not. Maybe it's maybe it's like fucking Milan. They're not dressed nice. Tell me this is not Milan in 1977. Tell me that. Tell me that to my fucking face. That it's not Milan in the um, nine years off and it was absolutely Helsinki. <laughs> uh, 
All right. Mm. Mm. Fuck. Mm. All right. This was Helsinki. Um, they say Viva in Nordic countries. That's the only thing that threw me off was Viva. That was like Italian, Spanish. Um, it's a loan word. <laughs> Borrow this word. That nah, doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? <laughs> we'll work on it. We'll workshop it. Okay. Well, cool. Viva. Yeah, Viva really threw me off. I'll be honest with you. Um, although I probably would have put this in, you know, here. I would have put it here and not here. But I think it would have gotten closer. And the year wasn't bad. I was nine years off. It was the late 60s. Fine. Uh, next round. What were they saying, by the way? Were they pro or anti-socialism? I couldn't tell. Um, borrow this bird. <laughs> Dude, yes! <laughs> nice, you actually got there. Uh, you want to loan this word? Borrow this bird. That's fucking, that's better. That's good. I'm not going to VIP you, but um, I will keep your thoughts and prayers treasured in my heart. Um, okay, we need, we need to get some clutch up some points here. We need to clutch up some points. Mm. This is Queen Elizabeth II, AD 2000. This great court celebrating. Okay. Shunga, sex and pleasure in Japanese art. What kind of crazy shit are you looking at in fucking the UK, I guess? Beyond El Dorado, power and gold in ancient Colombia. Okay. This is eating, shopping, ground floor, lower floor, upper floor. And let thy feet, millenniums hence, be set up midst of knowledge. I don't know. This could be... This could be... This could be like East Coast America or Europe. And I have a tough time telling. Um, people look happy, so I assume it's not Europe. <laughs> but I don't know. It's also nice, so I assume it's not America. Puts me in a real tough... Mm. Mm. Damn. Ow. I'm... Sour. Sour plus. I don't know where this is. If I had to guess, I'd just dump it on London. Um, Vikings. Life and legend. I don't even know when. Do I see a phone? Look for phones. Look for phones. Phone! Phone! Phone alert! Wow, dude. Enjoy the museum, you fucking asshole. Sitting there on your phone, scrolling TikTok, letting life pass you by. When you have a Shunga exhibit five feet away... Really nice. Phone. Actually, I to be honest with you, if that's not a phone, no one else has a phone. <laughs> oh, that's a phone. But wait, that looks like a looks like a flip phone. Am I crazy? Am I not seeing smartphones? I feel like I'd see so many more. People are kind of socializing. <laughs> this guy's got a digital camera. Let me see that one phone guy. Is that? Is that a smartphone? He's got the one hand. Damn, everything is relying on this guy. I'm I'm dead lost on this, bro. I'll be dead honest with you. I'll be dead earnest with you. This guy's blocking if I can tell if it's a phone. This is tough. I guess my gut and my gander and my goose all say we just plop this shit in London in 20... 12 <laughs> and we call it a fucking year oh i see like masks 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 no masks no masks no moss um this is a true bitch lasagna moment as pewdiepie once predicted and i feel like i'm caught 
Well, it's after 2000. We know that. So let's put it in jolly old London. And let's put it in 2009. What a what a what a what a what a, what a world. Um, uh, 2010, 2009. Again, I only maybe it's 2009. And there's only one guy with a smartphone. And he's like the fucking. He's the G. Fuck it. Oh, 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 oh baby, jolly old London in 2013. Actually, actually binking it. Actually clutching it. Um, wow. Almost went 2010. Fuck. I got fucked in the year. I was only four years off. What, there's, a, there's no difference between 2009 and 2013. <laughs> the world did not change in those years. Except for smartphones. But I forgot that Britain probably didn't get the smartphone until 2023. <laughs> Because technology doesn't get over there yet. They were too busy eating fish and chips. Um, that's my bad. Okay, that's my L I took. Now, let's see what we got on round five. If I get better than a 6K, I have a new high record. It is a new high score for me if I can beat 6K. However, this looks hard. I'm seeing a lot of flags. A lot of flags. Um, I'm seeing Iran, I'm seeing America, I'm seeing France, I'm seeing Japan, I'm seeing, I don't know, I'm seeing Sweden on the right, I'm seeing Turkey. This is tough. Um, dude's got a gun on a horse, it's like two people. Maybe it's like an Olympics thing? Is this crazy to say it's an Olympics thing? All the flags? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to study. Guys, if you're ever out hanging out in the real world, just hold up a sign that shows what year it is and where you are at all times. Because you might be candidly photographed for a time guesser in the future, and people will really thank you. You'll be fucking... You'll be helping a homie out instead of just being lame. I don't know. Um, all right. Let's let's see. Let's see. I mean, I'm not saying Iran. I'm not saying Iraq. This could just be Turkey, right? Imagine this is just Istanbul or something. Or not Istanbul, but let. What if, what if it's. Or what if it's fucking. I don't know. Yemen. Armenia. Turkmenistan, Tajikistan, Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Nothing. Uh, this could be. This could be. Northern Africa. Like Algiers. Or Tunis. Um, just because we're getting that. That France angle. We're getting that France angle. We're getting that. Uh, I don't know. I actually don't know. I don't. Uh, I forget what the Egypt flag looks like. Because this could also be Egypt to me. Like I don't think it's crazy to say this is. It's just like some kind of horse competition. That is. I Here's what I'll say. This is a Mediterranean Sea horse competition. <laughs> so, so let's put it like it's got it's 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 in this sphere of influence. I'm trying to get 6k points. Um I could put this in Alexandria and not think another not think anything of it. I could put this in fucking Aleppo. No, not really. 
I could put it in this mirror and it, it, it wouldn't, I wouldn't think it's crazy. But something is drawing me to like Algiers, bro. I feel like there's that French connection. Algiers in, and I, am I seeing phones? Not a phone in sight. People used to just enjoy this shit. Two people with guns on a horse. People used to just enjoy this shit. But it's also so recent. Oh, I don't know, dude. I'm, oh, man, this is just a real fuck. This is a real fucking hard one. They they fucking pitched me the night the nastiest curveball. I'm out here trying to gamble on myself, Otani style, and they're throwing me fucking curveballs. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, here's the deal. If, if it's a color photo and you don't see phones, when in doubt, go more recent, right? Because the number of photos taken in the world increases exponentially every single year. So by pure number law, a photo is way more likely to be taken recently than in the past. And of all photos in existence, this is likely to, th it could even be a little after because smartphones, you know, UK didn't have any in 2013. This could be like a 2016 Algiers. Fuck it! <laughs> yes! 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 Clutch! New world record! New world record! Uh 38k! 38k! Wait, I wanted to look at that one more. Breakdown. Give me the breakdown. So it wasn't Algiers. But it was Mediterranean horse in, where is this? Where is this? What is this? Did it say what city this is? In the, I don't know what this is. <laughs> what are we looking at? In Tunisia. But what city? Zarkis? Zarzis. Zarzis, Tunisia. Oh, of course I should know that, right? Um... Bro didn't know Zarsis. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> no, I didn't know Zarsis from, from look, dude. I didn't. <laughs> Damn, low bro. Never heard of Zarsis? Yikes. Uncultured much? Um, no, I didn't know Zarsis. I just figured. Fun. I think, man, I'm, I'm glad I went Algiers, bro. That's, that's closer than I could have been. Because I, well... Yeah, I was also thinking over here, Egypt. I, I would never have picked Tunisia just because I don't fucking know their flag and I wouldn't recognize it. So, but France helped me a lot. Thank you, French. Thank you, French. Mwah, magnifique. Okay, I'm coming around. Everyone in Europe hates you because they think you're stinky and mean, but I'm starting to, I'm starting to get it. Um... Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Do, 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 um, but they are stinky and super mean. Yeah, but like imagine, let's say you're playing a video game, right? And it's a game called, I don't know, Trash Tunnelers. <laughs> All right, and you got to like fight zombies in the sewer or some shit. And then every now and then this big fat stinky rat comes out of the sewer and gives you like, a power up or something, but he's like, "Hey, get out of my fucking sewer!" <laughs> he's stinky, check. He's mean, check. But you kind of like him because he's giving you that power up. Do you understand? Do you, is that is that connecting? Are we? Um, <laughs> if I made this game, would you play it on stream? You're going to make a game called Trash Tunnelers where a rat gives you power-ups? Yeah, I'll play it. I'll play it, but I can't promise you I'll play it very long. <laughs> um, I will play it. You have one free stream promotion of your game, Trash Tunnelers. Um, 
What if it's really good? Well, then I'll fucking grind it. Trash tunnelers. I googled it just to see if it already exists. It doesn't. You have it's free space. It's it's free space. Um. I feel pretty good about this one today. The only one I actually, I mean, this is like what nine k, nine k, eight k, six k. Um, the big L was this one, and that's because I got fucked by Viva, because apparently the people in Helsinki think they can just steal other people's languages. Gross, gross. In America, we didn't steal shit from other cultures. We built it all from the ground up. Okay, we said anyone coming here. Leave your culture at home. It's not a melting pot. We are going to build it all brand new. And we did do that. We have no loan words. We have no loan culture and no loan foods. And that is what makes America great, okay? It's not um, mixing cultures. It's entirely inventing new ones. It's a freezing pot. <laughs> it's a freezer shirt is what it is, okay? We take what already existed and we put it on ice to make it nice and chilly. Uh, it's the je ne sais quoi of American culture. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It is our je ne sais quoi. Exa you put it so well. Only as only an American could. Do you know what I'm saying? I love that. I love that and I respect it. Um, do, 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 do. Hey, someone made an international marketing Monday about the Indian streaming wars and we're going to watch it. Hello and welcome back to another Indian International Marketing Monday. Today we're going to be talking about the Indian streaming wars. If we go back to like 5 to 10 years ago, we can see that there are three main... You know what? Let's try something different this time. Uh, wait, where was I again? Uh, let's see... Um... <laughs> Okay, okay, interesting start, interesting start. Got a lot of prep, I see. I'm noticing and in, <laughs> so many different photos of me with glizzy hands and old and the H-Track Boomer photo and me in space for some reason. Oh yeah, right, okay. the three big streaming services in India. I that see. was five or 10 years ago, that was Netflix, Hotstar, which was owned by Disney, and Amazon Prime Video. Okay. Now, back then, these three were pretty equal in terms of market share. Wow. None of them had the advantage equal. of the other. Netflix was the smallest one. That's mostly because they saw themselves as a premium service. They charged more for uh, their content, but they had a small library. But they... Sorry, I just I, I do love that you're making me free content. I do love that. Don't let me interrupt you. If that is a fake homemade Enron hat, I will be sending not just my lawyers, but a heavily armed contingent <laughs> to your doorstep, okay? I do follow the Nintendo school of thought on this. Um, it's not so much a cease and desist as uh, a slice and desist. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to have enough fingers to be making a new one of these. So be careful. They tried curating their content, having the best movies and TV shows on there. Meanwhile, you got Premiere. They just started dumping content there. They went. It's not a cease and desist. It's a cease to exist. That's very good. That's very good. Very good. Uh, one person said it, and then everyone else repeated it. So, <laughs> everyone repeated it. I'm not saying very good to you. I'm only saying very good to the first one who said it. That was that was funny. But then a lot of you just copy pasted it, and I just want you to know that I'm giving a verbal plus two to the first person. Okay, not to the repeaters. Um. Went more for the quantity over quality part, but they also bundled themselves up with prime shipping and music and all that stuff. They also got the rights to Warner Bros. So they have DC movies and uh, Harry Potter and all Harry that other good stuff. Now, when you look over at Hotstar, since they're owned by Disney, they managed to get the Hulu content onto there. They also happened to get the exclusive streaming rights to HBO. And, you know, about 10 years back, Game of Thrones was pretty big, and people signed in just to get Game of Thrones on Hotstar. Nice. Now, they decided to go and get IPL. Now, IPL is Indian cricket. That's hundreds of millions of viewers right there. 
but you know obviously most of that is in tv but still like the exclusive streaming rights to indian cricket they got a ton of viewers just who doesn't love cricket now early 2020 something happened disney plus came in and disney plus merged with hotstar creating the new streaming service disney plus hotstar wow, i feel like i get a lot now, for that what else happened early 2020 covid lockdown people have to pick a streaming service what did they go for they went for that one and you know by 2022 these guys had like half the market they were crushing Easy, netflix clap. and prime video it was huge but well i want to see the numbers real quick i want to see the numbers 50 percent of the market disney plus hotstar netflix down to just eight percent amazon prime at nine barely above like sony live which i hadn't even heard of they were uh, okay. crushing netflix and prime video it was huge but this new guy started coming in. Move my camera. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hate to. I, I, I don't want to get in the way. Well, let me. You guys need to be able to see this. I'm so sorry. That's my mistake. Um, here, I'm just going to fix that for you. Okay. Thank you. Great. Rushing Netflix and Prime Video. It was huge. But this new guy started coming in. Now, who's this new guy? Who's this new he guy? immediately went over to Hotstar and snatched HBO. Then they walked over to Amazon Prime and they snatched Warner Bros. Well, hmm, you might be thinking, isn't this HBO Max or Max or whatever you Americans call that now? No, no, it's not. It's something far, far worse. Now, these guys, they merged with this company called Viacom. Mm -hmm. That gets them uh, Nickelodeon and a bunch of Indian TV and content and stuff. Now, right after that, they buy the exclusive rights to NBC Universal. That gets them uh, wow. Universal movies, obviously, but it gets them Netflix's shows like Brooklyn 99 and Netflix's top show, Friends. Well, not Netflix shows. And but... then they go over to Amazon and they get Amazon's top show, The Office. Now, you have all this content there, right? It's not enough. No, they go to Disney and they target Disney's crown jewel, the IPL. They take Indian cricket. And now, they start streaming that stuff for free. Free, free Indian, Indian cricket. cricket? Then they get the free uh, FIFA World Cup and they stream that for free as Wait, well. Wait, what? And people are How flocking How did they make this. money? They got a huge hit once they lost IPL. And now these guys, they are thriving. They have bled the competition dry. Well, Nothing is left. I assume they're thriving in market share, but if they're outbidding Disney for IPL rights and then streaming it for free... Aren't they losing hand over fist money? But they're not finished. These guys want more. But what more is there to take? They literally start merging with Disney. They now, according to the merger, own like 66% of Disney plus Hotstar. Okay. And who are these guys? How? This is Netflix, Disney, and Amazon. These are the biggest companies in the world. Yeah. How are they getting bought out or outbid at every turn? Well... This company is called Geo Cinema. <laughs> now, you might not recognize that name, but that's because it's an Indian company owned by the richest Indian in the world, Mukesh Ambani. Now, Mukesh Ambani, he's the head of uh, Reliance Geo. And uh, if you watched my previous International Marketing Monday, you might have learned a bit about him. He has the uh, what a most expensive private residence in the world. It's a two billion dollar skyscraper in the center okay. of Mumbai, and uh, it's built on top of an orphanage. But anyway, <laughs> how did this guy beat all of these companies? Where did Sorry, he that's get? That's an important distinction. Is it built above an orphanage, or did he level an orphanage? <laughs> <laughs> to build it. <laughs> you know, like when you're built on top of an Indian burial ground, is it... Mm, okay. Demolished it. Leveled. The orphanage is gone. I see. Okay, that's not... All of that money from. You know, there's so many properties that are, that are just falling off that piece of paper. Well, what's his plan? What is he trying to do? Well, I, can't, I don't know his plan, actually. And I, I'm not a marketing genius like Atrioc, you know? It's I can't not, figure that stuff out. This isn't even marketing. Only, only there was a way I could extract that Marketing Monday knowledge and <laughs> use that to explain what this guy is doing. Okay. So maybe there is a way. What if I took some Marketing Monday videos and uh, used them to train an AI? 
introducing I AI don't, to you. I don't the think this is necessary. Marketing genius. I don't Tell think this is going to give AI you the stuff. answer that you what need. What is geo planning? Geo wants to establish a monopoly <laughs> by spending more money than everyone else. They hope to drive out their competition and jack up the prices. Huh, that's interesting. Anyways, head to atrioc.web.app to no, hear AI Geoc say more. So back to Geo. This isn't the first time they've done something like this. You know how people say mattresses and popcorn are priced way more than they cost to make? Well, the industry with the biggest markup is telecom. A minute of talk time costs less than a trillionth of a penny. But unlike American telecom, which is controlled by just a handful of companies, Indian telecom is fragmented, a lot like the streaming landscape. This made it perfect for Geo to enter. But how do you enter the market so late? Well, Ambani straight up bought one of the companies, Infotel, and he renamed it to Geo Telecom. But due to competition, the pricing here was pretty competitive. You could get unlimited talk time and texting with two gigs of data a month for just a few dollars. Jesus. How do you compete with that? Well, Geo offered free voice calls, and when their competitors provided two gigs a month, they offered two gigs a day. <laughs> and then they started handing out free phones, and they built the largest 5G network in India and offered unlimited 5G for free. And that's how you take over the Indian telecom market. Now, all this talk about billion... Okay, but have they raised prices since? Did they come in and offer a bunch of free shit, then drive competitors out of business, and then raise price? Uh, like, what is Geo's prices now? There's establishing monopolies. It sounds pretty depressing. How about we close this video off with something that'll cheer you guys up? Don't want to hurt you. Just going to give you a hat. <laughs> Just a hat. <laughs> One second. One second. No, no. Oh, shoot. They're coming for oh, me. Shit. <laughs> Final attempt, putting a hat. Come on. No, no, come on. No, he no, doesn't no, no, want no. it. <laughs> okay, maybe that wasn't the happiest ending, but hey, thanks for watching. Wow, were those actual coffee cows in their native environment? Come off. Uh, fantastic video. Let me, let me, let me look up a little bit more. Um, you know, I, the only thing that concerns me about it is, like, I wonder if there's any sort of, uh, like, where what is the source of this guy's original funds? How did he become rich? Uh, Geo, India. Geo is an Indian telecommunication company hosted by Geo Platforms. You lent him the money? That's good. You, you, okay. Um, okay. Net worth of 113 billion, richest person in Asia. Market manipulation, political corruption, cronyism, and exploitation. Uh, all in a day's work. Where did he get his money? Oil. Oil, oil, oil. Okay, that's that's a cash printer. I was because he needs to have cash to like subsidize all the everything you've described is like a huge money losing thing. Like many. Extremely rich companies have tried to do exactly that in the streaming space and regretted it. They've spent a ton of money on content and to buy the best shows and to put it all on one platform. And then they, people, you know, they binge and churn or whatever and they don't stay. And then you end up losing all that money and feeling pretty shitty, which is causing a real problem in Hollywood. So I'm wondering if he's going to regret it too, but it sounds like he's got a lot of oil money. Um, He's also buying the Mumbai Indians. A 27, yeah, he's got a billion, <laughs> a billion dollar residence that has a staff of 600 with three helipads, 160 car garage. <laughs> he gifted his wife a $60 million Airbus. I knew she didn't want Boeing. That's very, that's very, very kind. For her 44th birthday. A $60 million Airbus with a living room, a bedroom, a satellite TV, Wi-Fi, sky bar, showers, and an office. That's fucking crazy. Uh, but only 60 mil for it was his wife's gift? Kind of poor. Like, I thought this guy was a baller. <laughs> um... <laughs> He 
Hitriok.web app. Let's see. Let's home of the coffee cow. Click image. My name is Atrioc and I am a coffee cow. <laughs> this isn't an AI. <laughs> this is just stupid. My name is Atrioc and I have glizzy hands. Yeah, okay. My name is Atrioc and I have glancer. <laughs> and the last one? My name is Atrioc and I think the coffee cow farmer should be VIP. <laughs> You know, if you hadn't just banned this, I never would have gone to this website. Ah, uh, you know, I said it, but then I changed my mind. I didn't feel it. I didn't, yes, I may have said it, but there's there's rules, there's a process, there's regulations. Um, so unfortunately, I don't know that I can, don't know that I can 100% <laughs> follow through. My name is Adrian, and I like coffee. <laughs> That's not what you want to sound like. That's the AI doesn't even. Do, I don't sound like that. My name is Atrioc, and I am a coffee cow. I don't. I say I don't sound like that. My name is. I don't. That's not how I talk. I go. My name. My name. <laughs> Atrioc. Yeah, you thought. You know what I love more than anything in the world? Not drinking coffee. That's what I say. That's how I sound. Um, Pip squeak voice. <laughs> Is the AI voice on right now? Um, thoughts on the Reddit IPO? Uh, don't invest. <laughs> That's my thoughts. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to do. It doesn't make a lot of money, Reddit. I'll be honest with you. You look at the numbers, they don't make a lot of money. But kind of a frothy time in the markets kind of a frothy time dude did you see wingstop wingstop is valued at like 144 times earnings it's trading like a fucking ai stock fucking chicken wing business is fucking <laughs> Uh, I mean, this is so drastically overvalued. Uh, so we're just in a crazy time, dude. Some things just hit. Mm. Undervalued. AI is a bubble, but wings are forever. Just feel like other people could make wings, you know? I do like Wingstop. I'll say it. I'll, call me Rick Ross. Call me Rosé, the way I love to eat Wingstop every now and then. Um, but I, I just don't think they've got such a moat in the world of wings. Um, do, do, do. Aren't all companies just saying AI in their earnings reports at 100 or something? They're not. Okay. <laughs> That's a little exaggeration. They're, the share of companies saying AI in their earnings report is like massively spiked since 23. Absolutely. And they are trying to get a bump off of it. And it does happen in many cases. Even Wingstop has claimed some AI benefits to their business. But uh, I wouldn't say it, just 100Xs. 100X is pretty. Um, do, 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 do. What's everyone's favorite wing topping? I mean, you know, the, the, what do you call it? It's not the dip. Um, sauce. Yeah, but it's like, you know, lemon pepper is my favorite. That's not a sauce. What do you, what do you, uh, wing type. Wing types, wing stop. It's the rub, maybe. Maybe it's the rub. Like, of this, hot honey rub, nope. I mean, I'm a lemon pepper fiend. I just go nuts for lemon pepper. I just fucking lose it. I don't know the rest of these. Is anyone, anyone here, would you consider yourself a Hawaiian wing person? <laughs> I've never, I've never had someone order Hawaiian wings. Uh, like, never, not once. Cajun slaps? I mean, yeah, you, obviously you are a real 
Uh, man, if you get a Cajun wing, it's hot. Is wait, what's the hottest wing that isn't? Thing is, I don't like I don't like the wings wet. That's my that's my fucking problem. All the bad bitches got a fucking problem, all right? And my fucking problem is that I don't like the wet wings. I like dry rub, and I like dry lemon pepper. Dry rub is the ultimate. I'm a dry rub king. Um, the wet is too it's too messy, dude. It's too much of a it's too much of a too too work. A greege. I mean, it's probably pretty divisive. I think I think this almost might be a half and half split. I wonder what. A, oh, let's, let's do it. Uh, let's do a poll. I actually want to know. I want to know what the split is of wet. Consider it wet, dry world. Uh, Mars sixty four style. Poll, 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 my p. Um, dude, the poll's not working. It's not loading. All right, we have to do a poll. We have to do a poll. Can I do a slash poll? Slash poll. Uh, wet or dry wings? Question. Wet or dry wings? Wet, dry. What if instead of poll we do a bet? <laughs> and whichever side gets more votes wins the bet. Uh. That's kind of skew it though, because that means what do the rich chatters prefer? All right, two minute bet, wet or dry wings. I mean, two minute poll. Wet or dry wings, vote, dude, vote. Vote with your wallets. I wanna know. I wanna know. You had to pick one. I'm not saying only wet, only dry. I'm saying if you had to pick one, it, what's your favorite wing? Is it wet or is it dry? Um, do, do, do. Dry with dip is the best it can be. Yeah, that's, that's dry. <laughs> dry with dip is just dry. It's a dry wing and then you're dipping it. That's fine. Yeah, of course. Um, but it's not a wet wing. The benefits of a dry wing far out outweigh the wet. I mean, it sounds like based on this poll, the average person is a uh, a wet wing slob. <laughs> they have, they got the fucking shit all over their hands. You know, it's like fucking on their shirt, and they're they love that shit. I'm ah the dry is I guess a loud, uh, but classy minority in this poll um i do wet wings then i dip in dry what the fuck are you talking about you take a wet wing and then dip it in what the the fucking lemon pepper powder <laughs> what are you talking about this so this doesn't make any sense dude wait um uh, You dip it in the spice from Dune. Uh, I might get wings tonight, bro. I, I just talked myself into it. <laughs> I just talked myself into it. What is the best? What is the other? Okay, the dry rubs are as follows. Hot honey rub, lemon pepper, Louisiana rub, and garlic parmesan. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like hot honey rub probably goes dumb hard. Probably goes dumb hard. I've only tried lemon pepper because I'm a man of simple tastes. Uh, do a tier list and buy them all. I only, I don't want to be fucking shitting blood, dude. I don't want to eat <laughs> 40 wings, different fucking taste. I just want, I want to have 10 lemon peppers. That's my classic. That's all I want, dude. Um... Probably eight. Actually, eight lemon peppers. I get a little. Mm. Gross, gross, gross. Ringstop fries and ranch is S tier. You think Wingstop fries are S plus 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 tier? You have Wingstop fries on the top of your list above all else? 
No way, dude. I think they're fine. I don't think Wingstop has bad fries. Wingstop is the S plus plus tier? Wingstop fries. These? Okay, here's what I'll say. I'll give you one possible reason why I'm clowning this. Um, and that is... Wing stuff rise. Um, I order. There's a wing stop not that far from me, and I order. And these cold are pretty mid. Not even cold, but like even like it's like like not. These are kind of only good, hella fresh. Um. So I could see, I could see that. I, get, I think these could have higher peaks than like a McDonald's fry for sure, but I don't know, bro. Uh, S++ implies that like there's just nobody coming close in the fry game, and I think that's... What are the best fries? Best best fries. I'm just going to just fucking... Look at this. I tried 12 fast food fries, and these are the ones I'll order again. All right? This person did an objective list at allrecipes.com. What are they saying? That's what I want to know. Popeye's worst. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, Burger King, awful. I agree with that. I, I have so many bad Burger King fries. Like, I think Burger King sometimes gets really crispy good ones, but I think they've really fallen off. I, they, especially that last time I ordered it, it was so bad. Dairy Queen, yeah, nothing, nothing special. Arby's crinkle fries, Bro, these are literally the freezer fries you can get. This is like the, uh, oh, what is it, like Ohula Hands or whatever. What, what's it called, the company? I don't know. The ones you can just put on a fucking thing in your oven. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, Orida, 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 yeah. These are the Orida Crinkle Cruts, and there's no difference. Um, KFC fries, I would not order fries at KFC, so not even on my list. Five Guys Cajun Style this is like my favorite, I think. And I'm surprised they put it so fucking low. I love Five Guys Cahoon. Uh, they also give you a lot, usually. Ah, mm. uh, yeah, I can fucking mac on these. I love Cahoon, Sonic, Bad Fries, Arby's Curly Fries. All right, these are pretty good. I'll admit it, especially when crispy. These are fucking pretty good. I don't ever want to go to Arby's though, so write me off that list. Five Guys style fries somehow number four. C Cajun is so much better than the original. I hate this list. I'm getting, my blood is boiling as I see this fucking uh, assault on my senses. Cajun style is so much better. Chick-fil-A fries. All right, these are pretty good. The waffle cut. Yeah, these are pretty good. No doubt on that. McDonald's. I feel like this is such a common. I feel like McDonald's fries are overrated, bro. They're fine. Uh, like, this doesn't even look good. These aren't even, like, this photo's not even, um, they're consistent. Yeah, I guess they've built something. It's not like I'm not going to eat them. <laughs> I'll mac down whatever size fry I get. But I just, uh, I'm never feeling like they're fucking special. Five, 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 five overall? Come on, dude, this guy's glazing. <laughs> This guy's glazing Ronald McDonald from my very eyes. This is not a fucking S tier 55555 five, 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 five fry. That's ridiculous. Number one, Wendy's sea salt. I do like Wendy's sea salt fries. I'll admit it. I'll admit it. And yet you've given them both the exact same rating. So what the fuck? Sorry, Mickey D's, but Wendy's is my favorite. You gave them both fives. Your system sucks. I hate this guy. I hate, I hate this guy. Um... Uh, Wendy's fries are always soggy as fuck. I think what I've realized, though, is that so much of fry rating comes down to whether or not you got a soggy batch. <laughs> and every single company can give you a soggy batch. And whether or not you last had a soggy batch is what you're determining your rating on. So it's really not, there's not a lot of depth here. You get that fresh, crispy, brand new batch, suddenly you're like, oh, this place is great fries. Everywhere else is fucking... Um... But I do think, yes, I agree with Wish On, which is that BK fries are somehow always soggy. Like, their soggy ratio far exceeds. 
Uh, Ludzi, what am I congratulating you about? What is Ludzi's, what's with Ludzi pogging? What is wrong with soggy fries? They are great. Jesus Christ, dude, have better standards. Have better standards for yourself. Oh, sub message. Let's see. Ludzi, what'd you say? Um, Ludzi's message. In the last month, I went from no girlfriend and no job to having a girlfriend and a job after I graduated from college. The difference? I added being an Atrioc mod to my resume. <laughs> that is a difference. That is a difference. That's the only thing I can say. That's the only fucking... the only direct connection. Thank you for the 34 months, Ludzi. Congratulations. Uh, it's interesting that you showed your date, your resume. That was <laughs> interesting that you added a truck mod to it. And then during the date, you brought out the resume and let them know. That's cool. That's good. Get that out of the way. I like that. Um, do you ever have dread when you recommend a place to eat to a friend and they have a bad experience there and they think you have trash taste? Uh, this happened to me recently. Relatively recently, and I'm gonna make a whole video about it. <laughs> I am making a video where I tour all the pizza places in LA with Hugs, uh, a Smash player, because I recommended a place to him. He went there, they gave him cold pizza, and he said that place sucked. And it's like my favorite pizza place in the world. <laughs> I was so furious. And I think he's an idiot. I went back myself the next day with Stans and my family and Ari and her family. And I videoed all of them eating it and saying how warm the pizza was. <laughs> I literally took the camera, went around the table, asked them how hot it was, and then sent it to Hugs. I was so pissed, dude. He obviously got, I don't know, he was rude probably to the staff and they gave him a cold pizza. It's fucked up. Like, but you can't undermine this great pizza place. It's fucking amazing. Um, so we're going to go back. Me and Hugs are going to go tour all the pizza places in LA and, and compare them. Um, do, 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 I'm fucking house pilled after that insane last episode. Wait, that'd be a Dr. House situation. Damn it. I wanted to do more today. Well, this was fun. We had a fun little stream. Talked about interesting things. Aegis will get to clip off that for sure. Um, uh, what did I want to say? No, that was good. It was fun. Good time. Um, we played. We played. I mean, I like that we added... Um, the time guesser and connections to the to the rabbit's walk because those are fun. Just good vibes, just good vibes today. Thanks for the vibes. Uh, all right, let's go watch house. I'm gonna I'm gonna run an ad and grab a snack, and uh, I think we all should just settle in to watch. If you didn't watch last one, uh, you shouldn't even watch. Honestly, episode seven, season seven, episode one was the most insane episode so far of all of house. It threw everything else out the window. It's almost like a factory reset on the character dynamics. It's fucking crazy. I, the shark was jumped, and I want to see how they follow it up. It really was an insane, insane. When do you leave for the CS major? Do you want my exact flight time, and which airport, and where I'm staying, or do you? What? I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving next week. All right. I, that's when I leave. I leave next week. Um, I'm on the I'm on the nearest Boeing flight out of here. Is what I told him. Uh. Let's see. House Wimbawe. Ba -dum, ba -dum. Ishtrak, can we get your Barbosa now? You best start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. You're in one. <laughs> and with that, I'll play the ad. <laughs> <laughs>
anybody out there anybody without a care Frog, you know it. It's in the microwave, all right, it's cooking. What date did this episode air? That's the question that we're all asking ourselves. Season seven, episode two, Selfish, aired on September 26th, 2010. The number one song in America when that played was, of course, by Bruno, my, my mouse is acting a fool, dude. Shacting a fool. Was Bruno Mars. And when you smile. Uh, yeah, he's not doing so well, gambling wise. He should take a page from Otani and blame it on his translator. Um, that's the number one song. The number one movie on September 26th. We have sort of gotten through the recession at this point. It's now 2010. The Great Recession is over, or at least we are emerging from it. I think by 2011, it's really when you're starting to climb out. Um, you, this is like the perfect time to get housing cheap. Um, number one movie, September 26th. So if you guys are a Zoomer, you're like, how can I afford a house? Just go back to when you were a child in 2010 and buy a house then. Do you understand? That was your big mistake. You should have been taking out a loan, a low interest loan to buy a house back in 2010. What the fuck? The number one movie, September 26, 2010. Do you guys know this movie? <laughs> This must be some Zoomer shit. I've never heard of this. I'm I'm gonna put it on screen. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm pulling it up for you. One second. Give me one second to try and get a full screen of this, dude. Okay. Sorry. Here it is. It is fucking Legend of the Guardians: The Owls of Gahul. <laughs> what the fuck movie is this? I've never heard of this. The Owl, this is the number one movie in America. The Owls of Gahul. Amazing, just the way you are. Oh, so you read the books? You read the Owls of Gahul books? What were those about? <laughs> this is this is like stage one furry. I feel like this is the mm, owls. Yeah, I see. Uh, this is Zack Snyder. Wait, Zack Snyder of 300 made a Owls movie? This is crazy. Can I can I watch a scene from this movie? Do you guys mind? <laughs> I, I feel like I'm I'm actually curious. I've I've never heard of this movie. It's the number one movie in America. Uh, the Owls of Gahul best scene. Guardians, we must uphold our oath. Yo, is this Guardians of Gahul? <laughs> don't, don't pretend like you showed up in the middle. Yo, are you, are we watching Gahul in here? 
Don't fucking, you were there for this whole thing. Don't act like you just fucking tabbed in. Whoa, we watching Ghoul Night? No, it's not a thing. You're so stupid. Nobody picks this up. Wow. How did they train the owls for this? That's a great question. It was a documentary. Watch party win? Ah, oh, they cancel watch parties, unfortunately, or I would love to watch the Owls of Gahul. I would love to have a Gahul night. It's really tragic they canceled that. All right, we're watching Selfish, which apparently stars Allison Stoner of Phineas and Ferb fame. So again, Zoomer's eating good. Uh, let's see how they followed up the craziest episode of House's history. Before we start, do you have insurance? 